You know, we're in a time that's so extreme in its madness. If it doesn't drive you mad, you are mad already. <laughs> Welcome to the modern world. <laughs> Social media is not a fundamental technology. These companies offer you shiny treats in exchange for minutes of your attention and bytes of your personal data, which can then be packaged up and sold. You can have dopamine issues that cause something like Parkinson's. Johnny Depp was defamed by Amber Heard. Does any of it even matter? An 18-year-old man opened fire, go killing 10 people and wounding three others. Police Relatively say civilized. Christians, they're white. You know, this is a uh, relatively European. I have to choose those words carefully, too. When they say, oh, civilized cities, and in another clip, well-dressed people, and this is not the third world, they really mean white people, don't America they? is a nation that can be defined in a single word. I was going to put him in a foot, foot. The decision of one man to launch a wholly unjustified and brutal invasion of Iraq, I mean of Ukraine. That none of us talked about the trial of the Hillary Clinton's legal aid, or none of us talked about the trial of Ghislaine Maxwell. Do these kind of stories function as a distraction, or do they have significance in them? You know, Allah said, oh, you human being, what has, what has put you in this state of delusion about your Lord? One of the Mufassirun said, he put his answer to the question in the question itself. What has, what has taken you away from your generous Lord in that you think that you can do these things that you can do and you're not going to be taken to account? What, what did it? Where's the jawab? Where's the answer in the question? Your generosity. Because people can only sin when they're experiencing the generosity of creation. That's when they sin. You can take something for nothing when you think there's something that can be taken for nothing. That's when you steal. So Allah is so generous to his creation that sometimes people forget. And that's what ghafla is. It's a forgetfulness. It's a state of forgetfulness. The Arabs before Islam were in a state of ghafla. They're in a state of ghafla now. The whole world is in a state of ghafla. You know, welcome to planet Earth. I mean, six billion people and we're all in a state of ghafla. It's amazing. So who, who's, who's, if, 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 if all the doctors are sleeping, who's going to tend to the patients? We were in a madhouse, the asylums, you know, one of the crazy people got the key and they've let all the doors open and all the doctors are sleeping. And then we're wondering why there's wars all over the place, why there's, because the people that are supposed to be running the insane asylum are in ghafla themselves, or they've gone mad. <laughs> you know, you know, we're in a time that's so extreme in its madness, if it doesn't drive you mad, you are mad already. <laughs> Welcome to the modern world. <laughs> and then they wonder why Fort Hood and Cleveland and Florida and what, you know, pe people are going mad because the world has gone mad. And that's exactly my point, is that when, when, when the people that are treating have gone mad, you know that things are bad. Because the Muslims are actually supposed to help people. Can you prove God's existence in one minute? Google relies on the internet. The internet relies on the computer. The computer relies on us and electricity, and this goes on. We cannot have an infinite regress of dependent things. The real question you should ask is the following. What knowledge contribution do I want to make in this world? If you haven't come across the Quran and Sunnah or the Seerah of the Prophet or the lifetime or a biography of the Prophet, it, it would be kind of absurd to, to, to live a whole life not knowing what a quarter of the world's population believe and see as sacred, this, this, this would uh, render you actually uh, uncultured. Can't there be more than one creator? No, because then we go back to the argument of necessary being. If there was more than one creator, then the question is, how could you have one necessary being which is self-sufficient, independent? If there is another creator, then it's dependent. It's not necessary anymore. I'm trying to figure out how to be a Jew and a Christian and a Muslim at the same time. Did, but become Muslim, that's the best way. Because the beauty of Islam is you get the Old Testament, the New Testament, and the Last Testament. I mean, if there is infinite time, yeah. why not infinite possibility? This glass is empty. But let's talk Turkish, yeah? A nice sütlaç, yeah? If I want to have a sütlaç in here, and I say, let's give it infinite time, would I ever get a sütlaç? No, because the equation of time is irrelevant. If the components to make a sütlaç the way I like it, is not in there, you will never get a sutlach. It's as simple as that. Yeah. The problems we're discussing on this show, Islam yeah. fi fixes all of them, mm. right? 
That's the first thing about Islam. And I'm not a Muslim. If I had to bet on one religion as if I were betting on the stock market for the future, you have to bet on Islam. Mm. 